When Robert's dog, Bella, was diagnosed with terminal cancer, he started taking longer walks with her so she could enjoy life until the very last moment. One day, as the sunny weather quickly changed, the pair decided to take a selfie. When Robert reviewed the photo, he turned pale after seeing something terrifying in the background. Robert had started a new tradition. Every time they visited a new park, forest, or lake with his beloved Bella, he would take a selfie with her. He wanted to capture every adventure but also create a gallery of memories he could revisit after she was gone. Unfortunately, the doctor's diagnosis was final. The cancer had spread beyond her leg, and amputating the limb with the tumor would only give Bella a few more months to live. Robert was devastated by the news but decided to make the most of the time they had left. So there they were, strolling through a forest so his best friend could live her last months in the best way possible. He knelt down, called Bella, and quickly took a photo. It seemed like a nice picture, he thought. He put the phone in his pocket and continued walking with his dog, who was running between the trees on her three trembling legs. It was a beautiful day, and the birds singing calmed him, almost making him forget that his only companion was about to leave. Bella had been by his side when his wife left him and his family grew distant, and he didn't know what he would do without her. To push away the sadness that was starting to overwhelm him, Robert took out his phone again and checked the selfie. Bella always looked funny in pictures, making him smile, but this time, what he saw brought no relief. The man turned pale as he looked at the image, feeling a chill run down his spine. He slowly raised his eyes from the screen, and at that moment, an eerie silence fell over the forest. The usual sounds of birds and insects had vanished, leaving only the noise of his own footsteps. That unexpected silence made Robert even more nervous, and he began to look around, searching for signs of danger. Could the mysterious presence in the photo be real? Or was it just his imagination? Suddenly, Bella began barking at a nearby bush, and the way her tail raised made Robert realize she had detected a threat. His heart raced as he tried to recall if there were any stories about danger in that region. There was a peaceful area in that part of the forest, and Robert knew families often went there for picnics. Wild animals generally avoided the area, so he tried to calm himself, taking deep breaths and deciding he wouldn't let fear take over his mind. However, as they stood still, with Bella still eyeing the bushes warily, the sky started to darken, and a gust of wind swept through the forest, causing the tree leaves to sway. Robert's heart was pounding. Was he being consumed by his fears, or was there really something there? Sensing her owner's distress, Bella let out a soft whimper and leaned against his leg for comfort. Robert finally gathered the courage to look again, but he saw nothing. Even so, Bella kept barking intermittently, always staring in the same direction. By now, Robert knew they had to leave the forest as soon as possible. The feeling that they were being watched grew stronger, and he put Bella's leash on, quickening their pace to get out of there. As they walked, Robert couldn't shake the thought that the forest itself was alive, watching their every move. His dog's constant barking only heightened his unease. Suddenly, Bella pulled on the leash, forcing Robert to stop. The dog sniffed the air attentively, her ears perked as she caught a scent. Robert watched her, but it seemed she couldn't identify a clear trail. He encouraged her to keep walking, gently tugging on the leash, and they moved forward. But just when they thought they were nearing safety, they found a huge footprint on the path. The rain from the night before had preserved the mark perfectly, suggesting that they were indeed being followed by something unknown. The size and depth of the footprint indicated it was from a creature of enormous proportions. Bella barked non-stop, and now Robert could hear heavy footsteps behind them. He knew they needed to reach the car quickly or risk facing whatever was following them. After about ten minutes of a desperate sprint, Robert felt a wave of relief, thinking they were safe. However, Bella suddenly pulled sharply in the opposite direction, breaking free of the leash and running into the forest. Robert knew he had to find her before it was too late. Exhausted, he followed Bella's trail. When he found her, she was barking fiercely at a row of bushes. 
As Robert approached, he was shocked to see a huge bear emerge from the bushes, growling. Fearful, he tried to call Bella, but she bravely stood her ground against the bear. Unexpectedly, Bella licked the bear in a friendly manner. The bear's demeanor shifted, becoming calm and, surprisingly, sad. Bella's behavior seemed to have soothed the beast, which began backing away, taking Bella with it, as if wanting Robert to follow them. Curious and trusting Bella, he followed. They arrived at an abandoned cabin. The bear seemed familiar with the place, moving toward the entrance. Inside, Robert saw a large hole in the floor, and when he looked down, he found three bear cubs trapped and crying. Realizing that the mother bear was seeking help, Robert quickly called emergency services and found a ladder to climb down and rescue the cubs. Robert descended, speaking gently to the cubs, who seemed to understand that he was there to help them. One by one, he carried them up to their mother, who received them with relief. Soon after, the rescue team arrived and ensured the cubs' health, while the bear, protective but calm, watched over them. The family was taken to a wildlife sanctuary to recover before returning to their natural habitat. Robert and Bella watched as the bears left the forest. Proud, he reflected on Bella's bravery and her connection with the bear. As they returned to the car, the sun was setting, and Robert knew this moment with Bella would be unforgettable. In the following days, Robert visited the sanctuary and saw the bears thriving. He accepted that Bella's time was coming to an end and cherished every moment with her. Bella would always be more than just a pet, a special companion, forever kept in his heart. What did you think of this story? Like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.